In this video, I'll be talking about BSTAR's new feature, BID, the pros and cons of BID, and if it's actually worth using. Hey YouTube, it's your boy Vivid. What is BID? BID is a B slash song identification system that provides you data as to where your song is being used on the internet. For example, let's say you upload a beat and somebody decides to go ahead and steal the beat because they like it so much and that they just don't wanna pay for it, but they really like the beat. What BID does is basically Basically let you know those type of people who are using your beat without paying for it or using your beat or song without your knowledge that's what BID does it basically just gives you the information as to where it's being used and who is using it and how it's being used how does BeatStars BID go ahead and find your beat it basically searches places such as YouTube Facebook Instagram TikTok Reddit basically all the social medias and the internet to find who's using your beat it then links you to every place where your beat appears bid searches for your beat every saturday so if you upload a beat on monday you're probably gonna have to wait until saturday to see it or whenever you get started you're gonna have to wait up until saturday to see the results as to where your beat is being used who's using it it categorizes your matches into seven different types of matches such as exact match full match partial match or if somebody using it in a snippet so basically really goes in and really tries to find where your beat is being used or your song but in this case we're talking about producers and it really goes in and searches the depths of the internet i'm assuming to find where and who is using your beat even if it's just a little snippet which i truly like i like that i really like that how much is bid bid is ten dollars per beat yes ten dollars per beat it costs way Way more than hitting that like button and commenting down below for the youtube algorithm i would truly appreciate it is bid worth it one of the pros of using bid is let's say you're a music producer who has a beat that's went viral what you can do now is track the data of that viral beat using the bid feature and that will tell you where your beat is being used who's using your beat without your permission it just gives you a bunch of information that would truly benefit you if you have a viral beat another pro is if you're a producer who sells beats online and have a bunch of beats that had a bunch of plays and you're selling a bunch of beats and you want to be able to see where your beats is being used and where it's being uploaded this is also a feature that can benefit you because you will be able to see all of that data every saturday of course remember guys it refreshes every saturday searches for your beat every saturday so it definitely will be beneficial for producers who are selling beats online and want to know where their beats are being used and who's stealing their beats and where their beats are being placed on the internet now let's talk about some of the cons of bid one of the cons of bid is bid being ten dollars per beat let's say you're a small music producer and you're trying to use bid for your whole beat catalog and you have a catalog of 100 beats it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars per month to run bid on all of your beats if you have 100 beats so it can get pretty expensive and i can see how that can be a problem for producers who have tons and tons of beats that have been producing for years and they just have such a long list of catalog and that they just want to track and see where their beat is being used and the information that they can get from using bid another con with using bid is the fact that let's say okay you finally decide to purchase the beat id feature for one of your beats and you see that a bunch of people have stolen your beats and used it without your permission you can't really issue a copyright strike you can't take it down by yourself what you would have to do is you would have to message the person who stole your beat and ask them to take the beat down best case scenario that person is a good person and decides to you know what i stole this person's beat i'm gonna take it down or you could come across somebody who really don't care and will probably block you or ignore the message and not really give a damn it can really create a gray area right there where you're basically seeing somebody using your beat and you can't do nothing about it so that's one of the cons about bid but i think in the future they will probably create a system where you can take down the beat or issue a copyright strike for your beat but who knows we'll see my opinions on beatstars bid feature i think that the beatstars bid feature is a great feature it's very innovative and there are times where i actually wondered where my beats were being used and who's using my beats without my knowledge i think that beatstars definitely did a great job as in creating a feature that will allow for you to track 
the data as to where your beats is being used down to the snippets you know whether it's ig snippets tiktok wherever it'll it'll show you where your beats are being used and i think that information is definitely needed for producers or whoever is using this beat stars id feature i also do believe that ten dollars per beat can be expensive especially if you have a bunch of beats and i don't think that i will pay for a beat id for every single one of my beats even though i would truly truly love to do that and get to know all the data from all of my beats and see who's using it and where it's being played and everything i definitely think that'll be great when i first heard of this beat stars beat id feature i thought it was gonna be like a subscription as to you only pay ten dollars a month and you can search up all your beats and get the data from all your beats that's really was my initial thought but when i seen that it was ten dollars per beat you know i had to say wait hold up <laughs> hold up now ten dollars per beat it's not that expensive ten dollars is not that much money but to some people ten dollars is a lot and ten dollars over multiple beats you know like if you have a hundred beats that's a thousand dollars per month and most people are not gonna want to spend a thousand dollars per month to know where their beats are being played unless for instance like i said earlier your beat is a viral beat or you're already selling beats constantly and you have such a great catalog that the money you're making you know is way more than the thousand dollars that you're spending i think this feature is best for producers with viral beats producers who beats gets millions of plays or thousands of plays and i think that's pretty much where i see the bid feature being beneficial will i be using the beat stars bid feature i am definitely going to try out the beat stars bid feature i think it's definitely a dope feature and i definitely want to try it out for myself because how would i know it works for me if i didn't try it myself and i encourage you to do the same if you don't want to cool but i definitely encourage people to just try it out see if it works for you if it don't cool just move on but at least you know that you tried and that it works or if it doesn't so for me i'm definitely going to try it out i definitely think it's a dope feature i see it as being innovative and i'm i wouldn't be surprised if in the future more and more companies start doing something similar as to you being able to track your beats or song on the internet and possibly hit it with a copyright strike or take down without messaging that person to ask them to take down the beat because some people are not gonna do that some people are just gonna ignore you block you and just keep it pushing <laughs> I definitely wish that they gave us the option to allow for takedowns and copyright strikes because I think that would be more beneficial and more willing to spend the ten dollars because I know that I can have more control as to what I can do with knowing that somebody is using my beat without my permission thank you guys for watching this video i truly appreciate it please be sure to like comment subscribe it'll mean a lot to me also here are some videos that i think will be beneficial to you watching this video it's your boy vivid and i'm out